The song I told you, uh, Karma Police by um, Radiohead. One of the reasons I chose this song is because I think he seemed to like it. And um, he has uh, some changes here and there which are simple that you can keep up. And I already made notations here in case um, you need some help. Okay? Um, so let's get started. If you listen to the song already, which you should have, <laughs> I will show you that the beginning is in A minor, the root is A minor, and uh, the specific mode that they keep going, remember the modes right from the scale, diatonic, he chooses or they choose the Dorian right at the beginning, like the intro, they go uh, A minor, right, you do the A minor chord, if you don't know that, let me know, I'll send you the graphs for everything too, so A minor, right? Then they do a D um, of uh, F sharp over F sharp, right? So F sharp, there you go. Then they will do an E minor or E minor seven, depending where you get the graph from, which is like this. Right? Then from the E minor, you're gonna go to the, uh, it's E minor over F sharp too. Like it, it, it all depends where you learn it from. Okay? That's the F sharp, the second fret on the E string, okay? Basically doing a over. So E minor over F sharp. E minor seven. You could do that or you just do E minor seven or E minor. Okay? And then you're gonna do a G, a G chord. So. See? So. That's the intro. The second part of the intro, it does an F major. So it goes. Some pages are going to tell you the same thing, E minor 7 of F sharp and G, right? So what's going on here? Why the F sharp to the F? Because he's changing the scale or the mode he's choosing. He's borrowing from a, a relative minor, not a relative minor, but uh, it could be a relative minor, yeah. Because uh, not a parallel. A parallel means a scale that belongs to another distinct, uh, same note but distinct scale. I'll just say it. A parallel major, right? So, that's a relative minor. Basically, what, what he's doing is switching from the Dorian to the natural Aeolian, right? Which is a six mode of the diatonic, of the mo major minor, right? The Dorian is the second. But because you're choosing the Dorian as the first, that becomes your one scale, your, your one mode. That's a root, because that's what you're basing on. So he switches the, you could call it switching the mode to Aeolian, to the natural minor. Or he's just basically borrowing chords, but because he's going to insist, okay? So you went from the D over F sharp to the F sharp, F is half a step. So how can you tell the intervals, okay? Which I'm going to tell you to practice. How can you tell uh, uh, what he's switching to, even though it's an other minor? So you already get the hint there. Um, Modes you can do in the diatonic that imply the minor is the Dorian, the Aeolian, and the Phrygian, right? You can do a A minor 7, but you can do A minor 7, the Aeolian, the Aeolian, the Dorian, and the Phrygian, okay? Unless he's doing an A minor 7 flat second, then you know for sure it's a Lydian. I mean, it's a Phrygian, because the Phrygian would flat second or flat nine. not gonna go there we're gonna focus on this um, so you go the full step so let's go to Aeolian the minor scale remember where I taught, uh, taught you the uh, C major scale then the A minor scale is a relative minor here's the F the sixth minor 
What is a Dorian? It's a major six with a sharp F. F sharp. Same note, different octaves. So you have the intervals, right? Root, which is a minor. Major second. Flat third or minor third. Perfect fourth. Perfect fifth. Then the first one is a natural six or major six, which is the F sharp. F minor six. So you already know there's a. Where's the G? The G, which what is the G in the um? G is the flat second of the minor seven or the major seven. The the, the uh, Dorian is my both Dorian and Aeolian is minor second because it's a flat seven. This is a major seven. Remember the well I told you about major seven about in the C. So it's not a raised. It's a flat. So. That's what he's doing. You play the intervals to see the chords he's using. So, okay. So Dorian. Then he's gonna skip the second, the minor third. He's gonna go to the perfect fourth. Then he uses the fifth, the perfect fifth. So you go. So you already can tell there. So but remember it's over F sharp. And what's the difference? You can be asking yourself. What if I'm just doing the D here, the perfect fourth is the D, well what's the F sharp? Oh you just basically adding another bass tone. Because the F sharp is already in the D uh a chord. Because here's another F sharp right here in the D chord. You're just adding that as a bass tone instead of just starting with a D. Still inside the scale, still inside the chord. You're just choosing a, a lower octave of the F to kind of distinguish the chord more. What else in the D here? You could. There's a G, right? You can do. See that? They play with that just to give a different melodic bass note to it. It's it's pretty cool, but see, you can tell better finger picking. You can use your thumb, like I said. A lot of teachers don't like that. So basically, what you gotta do is switch. Usually, what I do is this too. You can switch the fingers here. Uh, use your pinky, whatever is more comfortable to you, okay? Um, but because you're using three fingers here, you could do this, okay? Depending what's comfortable for you. I have long fingers, so... But sometimes they get in the way. So what do I do? I basically will do this. See? But a thumb is better because you don't have to sacrifice your entire finger and you get an extra finger, okay, to add other melodies. So, see, you add another G. And what is the G? The minor seven, okay, in the A Dorian. So, then you let it go. See? Thumb. I'm just explaining why they use that. It's just a, like another, it's a way to create a little bit more melodic bass tones, you know? Because you're already using two double bass, two bass tones. So that's why it's called a D over F sharp or G, you know? It's pretty interesting. I think it's a way for you to give a different color to your music on the chords. Or you can just use a straight up G, uh, D chord, like in. another note there.
okay? It's just to give a little bit more character, a little bit more uh, uh, color to your, to your chord, basically. Um, okay, so let's go. E minor 7, it could be E minor 7 if you want. Because what is the E here? So let's count. Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, okay? The E here is an E Aeolian, which is a natural minor. So this E is Aeolian. On the A Dorian, the perfect fifth interval is the Aeolian mode. See that? So this would be, if you're like doing a little solo, a little improvisation, you already know where to start. You do the... That's the E. The E is the perfect fifth interval, by the way, you count. On next one, the chord, you know, sometimes you're gonna get the graph in E over F sharp too, or E. See? But I mean, sometimes they do it, sometimes they won't do it. But it sounds better for me, just the E minor 7 or the E minor. G. So, what's the G? Where's the G? On the seventh, right? So, what's the seventh of the Dorian? Okay, so one, two, three. So, you have Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian, Ionian. So, this G is a G Ionian. You know that because that's the second mode of the major scale is the D, I mean the Dorian mode. Then the first would be an Ionian, the natural major scale, the major scale. So it's an extra full step down. So it's a G. See? The A. So a lot of people argue with you saying, oh, G is the root note because it's the first note in the, the song that is the natural major, which is the which is the first mode of the major major scale, right? But no, what determines that is your home chord. So the A Dorian, or A minor, is your home chord. Because you go from there, so here, start over. And then he goes, F major. Now he goes into the, he borrows from the Aeolian, or he switches to Aeolian, which is not a minor. What is the difference between the Aeolian and the in the Dorian, the major six, basically. So, so he goes, right? Then he goes, that's what he's doing. Doesn't make much sense here because you're just playing bass, right? So he goes, Think about it, if you do it all together, it goes. Gives a little bit more tension. See that? Then you go. So what he does, that's the intro. And then the third part of the intro, he goes back to the Dorian. So A minor, B, G, D over F, then he's going to do a C over E, which is basically the C chord, but you're choosing the bass note as E. Then a B minor over D. I mean, the way you can do this is, what is a B minor? This, 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 and you go. Okay? But I'll send you the graphs for all these chords, by the way. I'll send you all. Sounds pretty, right? Oh, yeah, and basically, uh, 
So you choose the D as a root note. And you choose the, the um, how do you build a chord like that when it's kind of tricky here. You're going to get the minor third, the perfect fifth, and the root of B minor. So where is the B? So second fret of the A, that's the B. Perfect fifth, fourth fret of the D. This is the B again. This is the minor third. So what do you do? So he's going. So he's switching here. Again. Just the last one. It's a nice way to end it. You see that on me? You can play the bass notes. Switch it. There's a B minor here. And if the B is minor, let's think about it. This is the A. That's the second. In the Dorian is the Phrygian, right? Because this would be a diminished, actually, if this was a honey notes and not Aeolian. Because this would be a diminished. This is a diminished. The major second is a diminished chord. So you'd be right? You won't do that. Half diminished, should I say. So this is the Phrygian. See? So that's how you know. But you're just choosing the D as the bass note. That's all. Okay. Now, into the song now. When he goes, the first one. You see how like the F major he switches to the Aeolian matches the melody of the song. When you milk making your own song, sing what you want, even if you don't have the lyrics. Do your mouth, uh, you know, whistle it, and you'll find the notes. Well, what notes am I singing? What in intervals? You know. <coughs> then you grab the guitar, and you find the notes. So he's going. So you know he's he's gonna repeat that. He's gonna repeat it. So he's gonna be repeating that part. So he's gonna be. So he goes and he repeats. Okay. So you listen to the song, listen to the chords, and he's gonna do that part. Then he's gonna repeat again. He's gonna go from the DG, he's gonna go to the. Okay? He's gonna repeat that process. Because he's gonna go, Karma police arrest this man, he talks in math. And na 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 na. Then the second part of the verse, Karma police arrest this girl, her Hitler hair, right? And then he won the last G, and he goes to the. Right? He's gonna go like... There you go. Okay? So basically, after the A, D, G, he's gonna go to the bridge of the chorus. This is what you get. And he goes to the... This is what... So... This is what... to edit that out. <laughs> um, so, okay, I messed up here. So, like, she talks in math, so. Okay, so you're gonna have that, and then uh, um, at the end, you're gonna have. Um, So C, B minor, A minor, B minor, D. 
So. So. Right, so there you go, we're gonna repeat. So what is this part on the bridge? Is a C? Some people tell you to do a D over A. A D over A is basically doing a instead of just doing adding the A. You can too. So this is what you get. Okay. So you're gonna go G and F sharp seven, which is a dominant seven. So what's going on here? It's pretty much still, I think, in A Dory, because the C here, let me see. This C is a C lady. Okay? The minor third is a C. It's a C lady. So it's going. This is what, what we get. So, no. This is what we get. So, what are you going on here? So what is he doing here? What is the trick? Is he still the same scale or not? Because this is the A Dorian. So if I go up the Dorian, major, Locrian. That would be the Aeolian, right? So you know it's not Aeolian. So what's this right here? What is Aeolian? That's a trick question for you. So if this was Aeolian, this would be a uh, mixolydian. This F would be a, uh, uh, um, what do you call that? A lydian. So what's going on here? Because in both modes, you go here. So what is he doing? Well, we could say he's just winging it because it sounds melodically pretty when he sings it and the chord that goes with is a F dominant seven, F sharp dominant seven. Is he borrowing from another scale? Well, maybe. Which scale would that be? It's not the harmon a harmonic minor. It could be one of its modes. So what's going on here? Why is he playing F sharp dominant seven? This is what, so this is what we hmm? Always the scene another note. So what's he? So yeah, he's just choosing that because, to be honest with you, you can borrow a chord from another scale, another mode, a mode, a, a, a mode from another scale. It's complicated, right? But in due time, I'll explain that right for you. But it just sounds pretty. Look, it's like this is what. You could say that he's just switching the bass to do a, a G over F sharp. Okay? You could do that too. This is what is it? But 
spaceship blade is. The major, the, the dominant seven does sound better, doesn't it? This is What's going on here? Those are the notes I'm playing. Because those notes could be inside the Locrian mode, but the Locrian mode would be... So, technically, he is still choosing. The, the Locrian inside the A Aeolian. No, A Dorian, my bad. So instead of doing a diminished, which he could, so we have a sharp, right? So let's see how it sounds. This is right? You could, but this is how dissonant this sounds. So this is an F sharp, right? What's going on? He's using the perfect fifth, not the flat fifth. So, that's an F. You could that classify as an F. Uh, 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 um, Phrygian. Because what it, remember I told you about switching the notes to minor, so you can have a minor seven. Cool. Some chromatic exchange, you know what I mean? One note, making a difference there. I'm adding the seven, the flat seven, instead of the octave again. Then I'm changing the, the coloring of the kick, the chord on minor from major. And so if this is Frisian, this is, this is Lydian, this will be See, you can switch, you can borrow from modes, see how it sounds, play around with it. And this is what they're doing here. Sounds beautiful. That's the most enigmatic part of the song here. So, this is what, right? This is what you This is what you play. See that? So this is what you get. You're gonna do this twice, by the way. This is what you get when you play. Okay. Now. Then you're gonna add this and this right here. The verse two, okay, second verse, you're gonna play just like that, but you're gonna add right after this. So we're gonna play the first verse again. Do this. 
this anyhow. So basically what you're going to do, you're going to get those chords at the end of the intro and add them to the last, to the second verse. So you're going to be playing, but the tempo is going to be different. You just feel the music, feel the song, I'm just showing you the chords, and you notice when they change, okay? So you're going to play again, verse one, same thing, but at the second part of the verse after this is what you get, you're going to add the, it's a D over F sharp, right after the, um, Right after the D, it becomes B minor D, you're going to add D, F sharp, C over E. Then you're going to do B minor over D. Then you're going to do A, B minor, D. But your cues are the melodic, the singing. You know when to change the, when you, you know, close to changing the chord. For example, this is what... Yeah. See the notes? Yeah. This is what. See my intonation? Wah. That's a D. Wah. C. D. G. F sharp sevens. Dominant seven. Right? Sing that. Notice your cue. The beat and the singing is your cue to change the chords. A lot of people get lost in that. A lot of people read a chord on a in the internet, and you see the you know the name of the chords on top of a specific letter in the lyrics, and sometimes they get lost. Go by the singing. Look at it, yes, yeah, sure, to guide yourself a little bit. Go by the singing. This, this is what. the second part um i lost myself which is you know the bridge uh you're gonna go again b minor Part of what you're gonna get from what the B minor at the end of that the verse two, okay? And you're gonna uh, so you're gonna from the F sharp E the B minor over D the A minor the B minor D then when you get to that D it's gonna sing that so. doing here melodically beginning of the B minor so for a minute there your cues for a minute those phrases for me there <laughs> repeats the D and the G twice. Why? Because he does that because he repeats the, the same melodic phrasing. For a minute, I lost myself. I lost myself. And on the third, I lost the D. He goes to E major and he stays two parts of the beat there. Pay attention to my 
singing because I'm being terrible lately. So, D minor, D, G, D, G again, and on the third, he switches to E major. Then he stays for like two measures there. Well, that will take the other chords to change. So you can see here. Right? So go from half notes, quarter notes, blah blah blah, you know, eighth notes. That's what I'm gonna teach you after what those notes are being played on the beat. Alright. For a minute there, I lost myself. I lost myself. I lost myself. So you notice how the E chord stayed longer than the other, so tap your foot too. So let's say you both have it. Get the tempo of the song, like so. So you see two beats, they change the chord. So. Jesus. So. So four beats here. One. Two, three, four. Okay? That's what you do. You count the time on your foot, you tap your foot along. So. You start. Stays four beats there. The other notes, two beats. The other, four beats. And then I'm gonna show you what the measurement. You go from quarter notes to uh, half notes. I'll explain it to you after. But okay, so, but let's go to the theory here. What's going on? Why is the E major? Well, the E major is because when you're in the Dorian, okay, you see the B, what is going on here? It's B, D. So is this B Phrygian? Just like the A Dorian. Is this a Phrygian? So let's see if it's a Phrygian. No, because the E is major. This will have to be an E minor. So we're not in that mode. So what's going on here? Is this B Dorian? So what's going on here? He went a full step. He changed the, the, the tone of the, the song. So he changed 